<laughs> hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I do hope and I pray that this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, courageous, and full of possibility this morning. I know. I and I changed my greeting this morning because I am so full of it because it is right here and right now awake. And I want to just invite you into something and you may not be ready for this. I know it's early morning. You're kind of going, whoa, hey, I got to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for you, James. Well, you know what? Then hit pause, go away for a couple hours and come back. But please, sometime today, watch this message. This is a message based on a message that came into me a few days ago, based on a morning, oh my goodness, a treehouse talk I did on leadership. And that talk, you guys, man, you were writing in from all over the world and everyone had some strong responses to the question that I asked, where are the leaders? And someone, a beautiful, beautiful soul wrote, yeah, I've been asking that question too. I've been asking myself, where are the leaders? And then I looked up and I saw in the mirror myself. And I said, well, there you are, you leader. And I was like, boom, yes, game on. So here's an opportunity. This is a short message today because this is about us getting out in the world and getting after it. This is a time when we own the leadership that's inside of every single one of us. You, you're the one you've been waiting for. And here's how I know this. And here, if you're having kind of straddling the razor's edge going, I'm not sure if I'm the leader. I, gosh, who am I to think I can do anything right now? Who are you not to think you can do everything right now? Everything. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes right now. And I'm gonna ask for you to lean into a prayer or maybe you just look out the window or you look at your family, you look at yourself in the mirror and you just allow me to pray on this with you. Because this is what I do every single morning. I turn the lights before I grab my toothbrush, before I wash my face, before I get anything going. And it's four in the morning, mind you, I do this. Life lies open to me. It's rich, it's full, it's abundant. My heart, which is my key to life, it opens all the doors for me. I am one with infinity. I am one with divinity. And I fully realize this unity. And today I proceed on my way as one who fully knows that God, the universe, the light goes with me into an eternal day of infinite privilege. I have only to open the portals of my soul and express that which is ready to express through me. Today, I fling these portals wide. Today, I stand as the instrument through love-centered leadership. And yes, I am the change I absolutely need to be and see in the world. So, what is yours to do today? How will you own what's right now in front of you? You. Look in the mirror and ask yourself a simple question. What does the world need today from me? And then give yourself permission to define what makes you come alive. What makes your heart yearn? What makes your soul feel so absolutely galvanized in the possibility of the greatest knowing? The purpose of why you took your first breath for. The unrealized potential that you absolutely right here and right now have an opportunity to move in the direction of the greatest production of your truth. The greatest knowing of what it is that you took. Everything that you have learned to this moment. All the good all the challenges, all the darkness, and you turned it into light because you realized that you were a vessel for hope and you were a catalyst. I'm standing with you. I'm walking alongside of you. I'm following you. I see you. And I know the truth of who you are. You, you're the leader right there, right now. Stand in that truth and move into this day under the influence of purpose and passion. Thank you. Right there, right now, right here, right now. I love you. I believe in you. Let's go. Bye for now.